Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be something that has been like the most asked question that I've been presented with since the new Dragoonity cards came out, since I started putting the new you know, revised combo videos up, and that is, what happens when you draw this card? The brick of the deck. Uh, Dragoonity Arma Leviton. Now, for those of you that are unaware, if you're not familiar with the, what the new Dragoonity support like does in terms of how it changes the combos, Basically, we've been using this card as a replacement to Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, and we completely cut Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon from the deck list because that card, with its most recent errata, uh, it kind of sucks. <laughs> it's not worth playing. Uh, it doesn't have natural synergies with the deck, whereas this does, and we actually get more mileage out of this card than we do with a card like Darkness Metal in its current form. But since I started showing those combos, I've been having the most frequently recurring question be... What do I do when I draw Dragoonity Armor Leviton? But to me, that's the simplest problem. It's not even a problem, that's how simple it is. You're like making a mountain out of a molehill. You're exacerbating the problem. You're looking at the fact that you can't summon it off of a tum and you're just panicking, <laughs> right? And so I've talked about it in the past. Uh, I've explained like, like even in the most simplest form is like you just summon a tuner off of a tum some people decide not to give me enough credit where credit is due and say, no, don't summon a tuner like Phoenix says off of the tum. That actually makes an inferior ending board. You don't get the full combo. You have to play Darkness Metal just for the off times when you draw Leviton, when that is not the case. Not the case at all, sir. But anyway, what I'm going to be showing you today is uh, the combo variation uh, that I specifically use. There's plenty of lines, but the one that I specifically use uh, for when you open Dragoonity Arma Leviton. Now, I should identify that the problem only exists of you drawing Dragoonity Arma Leviton if you do not have a card to bounce or a way to get Leviton to the graveyard. That is the only time it becomes even a thing you need to consider being an issue. If you were opening a hand of like Ravine Leviton Sinitus and nothing else, this is not a problem. You activate the Ravine, you discard the Leviton, so now it's in the graveyard where it can be abused later, and the only thing Leviton had a role that it was filling outside of going to the graveyard was being a card that's you know a freebie to bounce for Zephyros, but you now have a card that is face up on the field to bounce for Zephyros, so this is not a problem. This should be the easiest thing for you to figure out. Any hand that has Dragon Ravine in it, or just a face up card, it could even be like a Divine Lance that you just put on Romulus, summon a tuner, and then bounce the Divine Lance with Zephyros or something. Those are non-issues. Those ones are not even problems. But so what I'm going to show you today is the most, like, reasonable hand that you could worry about, which would be a hand that does not contain Dragon Ravine or any way naturally to Dragon Ravine, meaning that we, you know, increase the difficulty of what the Leviton being in our hand does in terms of a problem. Uh, so, like, a hand, like, the, a playable hand, something like Foolish or Dragon Shrine plus Ducks or Sinidus Tuner, just something that starts plays plus Leviton and two blanks, Right? This is basically the hand I'm going to be showing you, like how you structure a combo to play out of this, because it just seems to be something that uh, only I understand, and I don't understand why. Apparently, I'm the only one that understands it, <laughs> but that's what I'm here to show you. So anyway, with all that rambling out of the way, before I show this to you, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like on it. If you have a question, comment, or concern that isn't, how do I combo with, that, with Leviton in my hand? Leave it in the comment section down below. And if you're new here and you are interested in Dragoonity stuff, go check out the rest of my channel. I've got tons of new content in terms of new combos uh, for how the new cards affect the deck that are coming out in the OCG at the end of this week. We should get them in the TCG in like six or seven months. Um, so we'll have them in time for the 2021 season. And if you're new here, consider subscribing, of course. But anyway, so Sinidus plus Tuner plus Leviton. This is like one of the more reasonable hands that you'd have to play out. Uh, like I said, if you have Dragon Ravine in your hand or just a card that Zephyros can bounce naturally, then you no longer have a problem. Leviton being in your hand doesn't change anything. This is the only hand where it actually changes what you have to do as far as playing it out. So this, we're going to start by normal summoning Sinidus. We're going to discard a tuner, and we're going to equip the corresponding tuner from our deck to it. I discarded Flank, so I'm going to be equipping Koos. Special summon the Koos, and then Synchro off into Dragoonity Knight Gaedurg. Same simple starting steps. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be solving a lot of problems here. We need to get Leviton in the graveyard, and we need to facilitate summoning Romulus, which normally in this position we'd be adding Baby Rock and discarding Baby Rock to be a free body. Uh, to allow us to make Romulus, to search Glow, and we also need to solve the issue of we do not have a card that is going to be a freebie to bounce for Zephyros yet. We're going to solve all of that in literally this one simple step. 
we're going to activate the gate egg. Instead of adding baby rock and discarding baby rock like we would normally do, we're going to add a card that serves almost the same purpose, Dragoonity Remus. And we're going to discard the Laviton. So now we've solved one problem of getting Laviton in the grave. And then with the Remus, we can discard it to add Dragon Ravine to our hand. And now we have solved the issue of having a card face up for Zephyros to bounce. Now we just have to course correct the rest of the combo around it. But so now Remus is in grave. We control Dragoonity so we can just special the Remus. Uh, and now it functions the same way that Baby Rock would have functioned. And then we uh, banish it because it banishes itself when it leaves the field and link away the, uh, the Gate Egg into Dragoonity Knight Romulus. Romulus' effect will activate. We'll be adding Dragoonity Glow from our deck to our hand. And then we will activate the Glow, adding a copy of Dragoonity Arma Mistleton from our deck or graveyard to our hand. Uh, if it's in your graveyard and you still had a problem with opening uh, Laviton uh, at that point, wild <laughs> and keep in mind this is all without an extender if you have an extender like a superior extender as well like something like uh revolution dragon or monster reborn um or if you hard open the glow uh like this isn't even an issue like if you open any extender the laviton being in your hand might as well not even matter just put it in the graveyard somehow like combo around it and then discard it off the last gator activation for lechery like you don't even need to summon it more than once in like a turn uh but even without an extender this is where you can get to but so you're going to tribute the Romulus for the Mistleton, and the Mistleton on summon is going to equip the Gate Erg from Grave, and then we're going to banish the Glow to special the Gate Erg from our Spell and Trap card zone. Then use the Gate Erg to, at this point, do the standard combo stuff. Add Zephyros, discard Zephyros, and then overlay them into Hieratic Dragon King of Atum. Now from here, we're going to detach a material, and we're going to summon a tuner from our deck. The thing I recommended from the very beginning. We're going to summon... Dragoonity, Coos. And so now this is already good for us because we already have two tuners in Graveyard already. So this is an extra tuner in circulation that we would not normally have. But so what we're going to do is we're now going to make the combo even better in terms of resources because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be improving the quality of our Barca. At this point, we're going to activate the Dragon Ravine. We're going to use Dragon Ravine to just discard one of, one of whatever random card is in our hand that we were not contributing to the combo normally. And we're going to use that to add another Dragoonity Tuner from our deck to our hand. We're going to add, in this instance, another copy of Phalanx. So now we have two and two in our card pool. Then we're going to bounce the Ravine, because now we have a card on the field facilitating a face-up card that Zephyros can bounce, to bounce for Zephyros, take the 400. And now what we can do is we can actually make the combo a little bit better by reactivating the Ravine, discarding the Phalanx, and adding whatever level 4 lower Dragoonity you want to add from your deck to your hand. It doesn't matter. It's just going to be discard fodder for Gatorg later. Um, so it could be another copy of Phalanx, it could be something like Sinidus or just a Legatus or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, but basically what we've done here is now we have four tuners in uh, circulation on our board and engraved. We have this one in our hand, which does not really matter. But we have one on board and we have three engraved. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to synchro these. The Coos treats itself as level four in this instance for Dragoonity Knight Barca. Now Barca is going to activate to equip five cards from Grave. We're going to equip... Two Cooses, two Phalanxes, and the Mistleton. Because the Mistleton will allow us to use the Laviton later. Right? So we've literally Soul Charged for effectively five because this is treated as another tuner as soon as we blink this out for Laviton. So this is just free five cards. Not a huge deal, I guess. Uh, but so now we start stepping up into our ending combo sequence. Uh, specialing the Coos, linking the Coos and the uh, Atom off into Hieratic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. Now this combo, we're actually gonna keep this on the ending board. It's gonna be a weird looking ending board, uh, but it's actually just a little bit better than the alternative, which would be to do the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Link thing, um, the Darkness Metal Dragon Dark Steel play. Uh, this is actually better because this is an extra point of interruption, although our ending board will look weird. Uh, but anyway, so then special this Coos, special this Phalanx, and special this Phalanx, and then you link the Coos away into Guard Dragon Pisty, link this Phalanx away, into Guard Dragon LP, and now from here we have a mutual zone. We're not doing the normal triple burst stuff because we want to leave this. Um, and also making triple burst use, uses an extra material, uh, so it actually like doesn't allow us to properly step up into making this. If, if we make triple burst, we are dedicated going down the Darkness Metal Link route because we get that extra material we use into the triple burst to back off the Darkness Metal Link. But in this instance, we're gonna end up leaving these on the board, which is gonna look weird, but like the ending board is still two negates, Goliath, Lechery, and also a Spheres. So like, it's a still very good ending board. Um, and it has a lot of like threat potential on the following turn, but it's a weird looking ending board compared to the cleaner ending boards that I normally uh, put, at, uh, put out. But anyway, 
Pisty effect for the Gatorg. Gatorg effect here to add a Morphage Lechery from your deck to your hand and discard the Phalanx that we added off the last Ravine activation. And then from here, we're going to synchro the Gatorg and the Phalanx away into the Borlode Savage Dragon. Savage Dragon will activate equipping the only link that is in our graveyard at the current point in time, which is Romulus, and getting two counters on it for negation purposes. And then from here, we get to just banish the Barca because it is equipped with this Mistleton, and we get to summon the Leviton. So we get to summon this Leviton. Leviton gets activated its effect, equipping a tuner. The tuner can special summon itself, and then we can make Dragoon Unite a Reed Bear. So now we have Monster Effect Negation, Omni Negation, we have the Spheres. Uh, so this is like a standard looking ending board in terms of what its ending board does. Uh, we get to do LP effect here because we still have the mutual zones. We get to summon Amorphage Goliath from our deck, and then we get to scale the Amorphage Lechery. So no spells, no extra deck, spheres, monster negate, omni negate. Like it's pretty standard compared to like the rest of the ending boards that this deck puts out, uh, but it just it works. You don't have to worry about opening Leviton in this deck, and you certainly don't have to play subpar bricks like Darkness Metal just for the plays where you open Leviton. And you certainly, certainly don't have to play two Leviton in your deck on the chance that you draw one of them. You don't. You don't have to at all. The way that you just structure your combo around it is if you look at your hand and you say, okay, is there a card like Dragon Ravine or Divine Lance naturally occurring in my hand? Or not even that, like a card like Dragon Shrine, sending Dark Worm, Dark Worm summons itself, adds Gate Zero. Gate Zero is just a free card that can be bounced by Zephyros. Um, like, all these different things. You just have to run through them in your head. It's like, is there a card that Zephyros can bounce? If so, yes, then cool. Leviton being in your hand doesn't matter. Do you not have access to a card that Zephyros can bounce? Then you need to start worrying about getting one of those. Is Leviton going to be naturally capable of being discarded during the course of this combo? Yes? Cool. Don't have to worry about anything else. If no, you need to worry on that. You need to work on it. You need to get there. Um, Remus just happens to be that catch-all card that just fixes all of it. And I know what you're going to say. is like, well, what if you opened the Remus and you can't do Remus mid-combos? Like, if you opened Remus, then you have the Dragon Ravine because you discard Remus for Dragon Ravine. And then you discard that for the Leviton. And then you can bounce the Ravine for the Zephyros. And I fail to see the problem here. Because it, that fulfills all of the points <laughs> that we had already just established. But anyway, this is the combo, this is the ending board, this is what I consider the most optimal ending board. Like I said, you can go through the Darkness Metal Link route, um, where you have Darkness Metal Link, LP, Goliath, all that. You still only end up with the two negates, because you can't get access to another tuner, and another level 6 non-tuner summon, like summoning Gaederg again, uh, without doing so. Um... But there is the capability of you having an extender that you could put in, like having an uh, Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon or a Monster Reborn or something. And that allows you to have the right like, amount of cards to go into the full three negates Goliath Lechery thing. But, I mean, you're effectively just trading out uh, Hieratic Seal of Heavenly Spheres, which is already a natural disruption, out for just a bigger disruption. So it's not really like improving anything. You're just kind of moving laterally along the performance axis of the deck in terms of the output ceiling. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is an, a weird looking ending board because normally you don't end with these both on the board. You don't end with them there. Um, but it's fine because like you would still do things like this tributing Pisty off. You don't have to tribute this. You can just tribute Pisty off and then uh, next standby phase, this can tribute the spheres and summon like Tempest from your deck or something. Like just, you, you can do stuff. You can do plays with it. You can mess around with it a little bit. But anyway. That's what I wanted to show you. That's what I wanted to tell you. I didn't think I was going to have to make this video. I didn't want to have to make this video, but it is literally the most commonly asked question that I've gotten since the new Dragoon support was announced. And we started, you know, delving into the new combos. It's what happens when you draw this card. And I'm here to tell you, nothing. Nothing changes. You just go a different route. You big brain. You go, ooh, expand this, the brain. And you just figure out how to get to the parameters that this card fulfills in combos. That's all you do. But anyway, with that out of the way, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. If you're new here, like I said, subscribe. If you want to see more Dragoonity content, check the channel. I've got a lot out there. And other than that, as always, thanks for your time, as usual, and take care. I will see you in the next video.